Hi and welcome back to another Retro Remake review. Today we are looking at the Tottenham Hotspurs home shirt from the 22-23 season. Now I don't believe this shirt has actually been released yet so this is going to be an early look at what the shirt hopefully will be like. This shirt was purchased off DHK and took 10 days to arrive which is amazing. The shirt comes in a Nike bag and on the flip side we have our usual health warnings. So if you are new around here, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I do these reviews on a weekly basis. Also, let me know of any shirts you'd like me to review. I'm always interested to know which ones you want to see. Now, this one is definitely going to be an interesting one. As I say, it is not been released yet. So, yeah, let's wait and see what this one looks like. And then maybe later on in the year, we'll get it again. And we can look at a comparison as to what this one was like and what the new one's like. So let's get this bag open and let's have a look at the Tottenham Hotspur home shirt from 22-23. So starting at the top, look at the colour line. I really like this colour. It's like a, a luminous yellowy sort of sort of colour. And you've got spurs. I guess that's going to say spurs, spurs all the way around. Oh uh, yeah. So moving down the sleeve. Stitching looks good. And the arm looks absolutely fun. Oh, I just noticed look as well here. That's really smart. In the inside of the arm, you've got the spurs around there as well. So I really do like that colour. I think it looks really nice on this shirt. Obviously, Tottenham having the white shirt, it's just nice to have that breakdown of the colour. That is nothing on the shirt itself. That's just a little bit of... Um, I can't get it in focus. Just a little bit of cotton. And put my hand under it. Gives you an indication of how thin the shirt is, which, to be fair, isn't too bad. Definitely seen worse. The Nike emblem is on the wonk, but that's just because of the way the shirt's hanging is stitched on. Along with the Tottenham badge, this has also been stitched on. The sponsor is heat pressed on, and yeah, it feels, feels really nice. Feels like it's been put on well. And I've just noticed as well on this sleeve, we have a sleeve sponsor. Again, that's been heat pressed on. And we do again have the yellow arm print in there, which again, I do like the colour of that. It does look really, really nice. Moving down to the bottom of the shirt, you can see we have an engineered Nike logo, which has been, I believe that's been pressed on, which it has. And the hemline itself looks good to me. So let's flip the shirt over. It's not gonna be a lot to look at on the back. Um, we'll just give you a quick overview. Sorry, the sponsor is twisted. Let's see if we can get a better one. There you go. Let's flip it around, have a look at the back. There's not going to be a lot on there because it is a plain white one as I've got no names on these shirts because players tend to leave over the summer. Names and numbers may swap. So let's have a look at the back. So let's flip it around. We've got even got this yellow, which I do really like it. I know I keep saying it, but I do. Um, we can just about see the Nike for it and make out the top and badge almost, which again gives you an indication of the thickness of the material. I think sleeves all look like they've been put on well. Just wonder where the join is, is there, which to be fair, definitely seem worse. And on the other sleeve, again, it's not bad at all, actually. I'll let them off with that, they've done well. And then moving to the bottom, the back hemline, again, looks fine. Like I said, there's not a lot to really call out. There's a line of material there, which obviously would be nice where you've got your name and number on there. Not a lot to call out on the back because it is plain. But let's just give you a quick overview so you can have a look at it. And then what we'll do is we'll have a look at the inside. So now on the inside of the shirt, and just look at the collar line. And we can now see this spurs, spurs, spurs better. It, on the inside, see it like this, I do say. And it looks better than when we looked at it on the outside. You do have some tags, which is your Nike Tottenham exclusive product, dry fit. And we have a third one at the back, which says move to zero. Size wise, this is an XL, but it's, more, it's a DH gate shirt, so it's going to be more like a large. Moving down, we have the top and badge, and there's some loose stitching on there, there's some additional thread, but that'll be easily sorted with a pair of scissors, so nothing to worry about. And the night tick itself, do you know what? This is probably one of the best night ticks we've seen. Really like that. Sleeve sponsor. Looks absolutely fantastic. 
no issues at all with that. The one crease you do see is just when the shirt's within the bag. And again, we have this spurs, spurs, spurs on the sleeve. Jump into the other sleeve. Again, spurs, spurs, spurs. And underneath, stitching looks nice and strong. Jumping down to the bottom of the shirt, we have our washing instructions, I believe. Yeah, that's our washing instructions. And there's also a nice product code there. Don't know what that will bring back. Someone have a look and let me know. Moving to the bottom, let's just look at the hemline on the inside, which looks good to me. So let's just zoom out and give you the overview of the shirt from the inside. Got to say, 22-23 shirts so far have been a lot better than last season's ones because we had quite a lot of issues with those in regards to excess material, stitching, um, issues around the collar. So, so far, these have been really good. As we look at our final inside, again, just around the collar line, and then we have this Nike dry fit. Again, Excel, but as I mentioned earlier, this is going to be more like a large not a lot to call out on this side because it is just plain white as i said i have no name on it so we can't look how well that's been pressed on but again there you go you can see the the badge from it which does give you that indication of the thickness so not a lot to go on this one so we'll just give you the quick overview of it before we flip it around and final comments on the shirt So there we have it, the Tottenham Hotspur home shirt, 22-23. As I mentioned at the start, the shirt hasn't been released yet. So we will have another look at one of the shirts later on in the year. But hopefully this gives a good indication of what the shirt will be like. And yeah, we can then look back when the, when the shirt has been released and see how close they were. So from me, let's close this video off now. If you are new around here, please subscribe and like these videos. I do them on a weekly basis. This shirt, for me, took 10 days to arrive, which is absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.